Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pixel Moose here and welcome back to another video. Today, we are in Trail Makers. As you can see, this is us. And we, I'm going to show you how to build a plane today in Trail Makers. And if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss another video. And comment down below what you want me to build next. So first of all, we are going to press B to open our builder. Now in our builder, we have all of these nice options. We are going to take the cockpit or the spaceship cockpit. And we can actually have both if you want a double seated aircraft, which I kind of want today, you know? So here we have our cockpits and we can add some cool things here. First thing we should do is we should take some blocks like this. These are very useful because they are lightweight. And we should go a little bit farther than that. Seems good. Next, we can go into our aerodynamics. Actually, no, we have to lift and drag. We grab modular wing and we attach it right here then we extend it three out and we do the exact same thing on the opposite side perfect now we can grab a, a simple tail fin we will can rotate it on the x-axis, on the y-axis, and then just rotate it till it looks like this. And we can check our aerodynamics and we can see the front is not too aerodynamic, but that doesn't really matter. Oh jeez. Then we can do the same thing, so just copy that. Perfect. Now we have this shape. This shape is useful, but it's not the best we can have it yet. Next, we're going to take some more grid blocks. And we'll just duplicate it. Perfect, and we can keep like that. Next, now we have the main structure of our plane. Next, we can add this. Now, as you can see, this has a little bit of drag on it. You can turn on aerodynamics to see how aerodynamic your plane is. So, since ours isn't that arrow, since we just need a little more, adding to do we can go back and we can grab some small mod modular wings next we can flip that around paste that twice that way make sure it's connected or it won't be good oh Perfect, and then you don't add anything more there. Next, you have to cover this so it is not, it does not have that much drag. First, we also have to cover up the bottom because um, it won't work so well if it's not a good shape. Seems good. Now we can come over here and we can go into our, where is that? Where is it? Oh, that's not it. Ah, yes. 
We're going to be using these later, so next we just have to grab... Ah, oh, there they are. Shields. And these shields will help us um, in a little bit. So make sure you also hold on to a few of those. And then we can grab these rounded blocks. If you round it on the y-axis, it should look like that. And we can just paste them in. Looks good. As you can see, our plane is coming together. And we have to fly over here. Next, you're going to need to scroll a little farther in because we are going to be needing a taller corner. Perfect, just like that. Should be good, and then we also put Actually, let's just use a full block like that. Oh no. No, just keep using these. Ah. There we go. Next, we still don't have perfect aerodynamics, but if we had. Back to framework, we can grab ourselves, it's called a shield. Make sure you have the correct shield or else it will be larger and not as usable. So we can just do this, perfect. I like how it's coming out so far. And if you want, you do not have to use the extra cockpit. And we can take this shield, a 2x4 shield at the bottom. Oh, look at that. Next, we need to do a little bit more with the, gr with the grid blocks. And then where is our, we can go back to the rounded corner in aerodynamics, right here. And we can go back here and perfect. Next, we're going to need to clear this area out a little. Next, we grab ourselves a dragon jet, rotate it on the x axis, place it right. There. Looks perfect. Actually, no. Oh no, we have to use the raw jet. Sounds weird, but... Perfect. Next, we just have to... Slightly hollow out everything in here. Because we are going to need to place some dragon jets. Just on the inside. So that we have a little more propulsion for our vehicle. Oh wait, 
that's why I wasn't working. And fits perfect. Next is for closing it off. So we're going to first go here. We're going to take a wedge one by two. Should be looking like that. Actually, no. We take ourselves a two by four. We again rotate it on, rotate it on the x-axis. Paste, paste. Uh -uh. Oh, perfect. Now we grab some more of these shields, just so it had, it's much better. We grab a shield there, grab a shield here. And now it looks pretty good so far, but we still have to do the top. So you can use any shield type for this. You just have to make sure it covers the whole roof so that it's more aerodynamic. Now we can cover up this. Cover up this. And, oh geez, oh I see why that isn't working. And lastly, the most important part of the plane the tail fin. I'm going to use a powered tail fin. And you know what? Looks like we're ready. Oh, I guess why it's not working. We forgot the most important thing. Ah. So we're going to quickly select this whole wing. I'm going to take off that wing. Then inside of the wing, we're going to grab ourselves a rotating servo. Oh, jeez. I just took the whole front of this off. No. Oh, geez. And we have to take off the shield. And do it on the other side. Then we can copy our servo on the opposite side. Oh, 
Oh, jeez, wait. Yeah, there we go. I'm just quickly reconstruct the wing. And yes, if you're, if you can still see, we have, we now have drag on our wing, or on our rotating servo. It's red. It's not good. So the last thing we have to do is take. Uh -huh. That and then we grab our basic block oh, wait no and Okay. Ready. Whew. I'm sorry, everyone. You have to quickly go here. S W S and W. Because you have to put them the opposite way for it to work. Ah! We're still flying. We're a, we're a burb. Flap, flap. Oh my gosh. No, no. You have to repeatedly press W if you don't want this to crash. And that is how you build a plane. And as we fly off, make sure you hit the subscribe button and comment down below for more tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.